hi guys this is a quick tutorial on how to kind of get set up um, either on an arm or an intel mac using UTM map as a virtual machine so specifically for our macs you will have to kind of get a special disk image um, unfortunately there is no way currently through the regular channel um, to get an ARM desktop, there is an ARM server, but you probably don't want that because you'll only get a terminal. But the daily live CD that they do push out does have an ARM desktop image. This may change for later releases, but at least for 22.04, you have to go to this specific page in order to get it. Make sure you download this. I've already downloaded it. It'll take just about the same amount of time as it would to get a hold of the desktop image, it's about two gigabytes. So once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Mac UTM app. There is another UTM app that is for uh, iOS, but that won't work on your Mac. So you'll go here, the link will be included in the description, and then you'll click download and you'll get this guy. It's a pretty simple install. All you have to do is drag it into your applications folder once it opens. So since I've already got it open and running here, and you can actually see my other VM. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new VM. We want to virtualize. So you'll wanna make sure that the disk image you downloaded is the correct disk image. You wanna make sure that it's not accidentally x86 for an ARM machine or ARM for an x86 machine, vice versa. So once you do that, you'll pick Linux. We're going to browse to our downloaded file, which ours is right here. Open that up. We can hit continue. I would set this to the 12 gigabyte mark. Um, at least this is what I have working on a M1 uh, MacBook Pro, the lowest spec. So not anything crazy um, and it seems to work pretty well. Storage, I would set the value of this to be significantly higher than 64 gigabytes, um, somewhere in the one to 200 gigabytes range if you have the space for it. Since I already have a VM that has almost that much space occupied, I do not. So I'm actually gonna shrink this down to about 40 since I don't intend to install anything else to this VM. But I would say one to 200 normally. Uh, this is for setting up a shared directory so you can actually share a folder between your desktop, your, your Mac, and your Linux VM where you can pass stuff back and forth. I'm not going to go through the setup for this. It's There are some guides out there uh, that are already pretty easy to figure out how this should work. Summary here looks good. We'll hit save. It'll show up as a new VM. And then before we start it, we want to make one kind of final change. We'll go down here to the network tab. We're gonna change this from shared network to bridged. And we're gonna change this from VertIO Net PCI to VertIO Net device. Uh, for Ubuntu 22.04, this seems to work better with the bridge configuration. But this change allows you to work with ROS a little bit easier. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and start the VM for the first time. We'll open it up full screen. I would also recommend that you always open it up full screen. It's much easier. And we will try your install. Here we are in the live image. We'll go over here, start the installer window system. At this point, you'll go through the normal installation process. I would recommend doing a minimal installation since you already have a Mac, you've already got the other utilities and stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna skip that and turn that on. Oh, sorry, not skip that. You want to erase disk and install Ubuntu. This will not erase your Mac. It's only going to erase the fake disk that's kind of inside your virtual machine for the Mac. Hit continue. Set your time zone. 
set your username, pick a password, I would recommend not doing login automatically just because it's easier to remember your password that way and continue. Alrighty, so once your installer finishes, you can go ahead and click restart now. You'll want to go over here, make sure you clear the disk image out and We'll go ahead and make sure it's shut down. Once you see this, it's shut down. We can start it back up again. Sometimes it may try and log you out if you try to go from windowed to full screen. It's just a weird glitch with the uh, Linux windowing system. And here we are. Now that we're logged in, we can skip through all this stuff. Don't need Ubuntu Pro. You can turn this off if you want. And we'll finish that up. Now at this point, you're good to go to start installing Visual Studio Code, UWRT software stack, and get started with developing ROS. Uh, one other thing that's kind of important to note Sometimes your internet slash network may appear to be down, um, depending on if you change Wi-Fi networks or if you go from a, a regular ethernet adapter back to Wi-Fi. So if you do have issues with connectivity, one of the easiest ways to kind of get it to fix itself is to turn the adapter off, even though it says it's wired, it's not actually wired, and then turn it back on. And a lot of times that will then reset the internal bridge adapter and get you an IP address and make sure that you're actually on the network because sometimes it'll try and hold on to an old IP address from another network. And then when you try to connect to like OSU's network, for example, it'll freak out and say, no, you can't do that. But at this point, you now have Linux running inside your Mac.